the Donuts. Welcome back to St. Louis Park to the rec center. We're ready for game number two. The Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights number four in class AA in the Let's Play Hockey Poll take on the preseason number one Hermantown Hawks. Should be a dandy game here tonight. And I am joined by the precociously talented Will Peterson, who is the voice of the Hermantown Hawks for uh, MNHockey.tv. But, Will, nice to have you here. Pleasure to be here, Jeff. Let's talk about the Hawks. Last season, of course, everyone knows what happened to them when they got to state. Uh, the COVID outbreak, and they put a depleted team out there, but, boy, really gave a tremendous effort against Dodge County. This is a very, very talented team. Absolutely, and you're going to see those results play dividends for a lot of these younger guys, a lot of these guys that skated in that JV game. And, I mean, shoot, do you even need to talk about what Zam Plant did in that game? He factored into all three goals. He played over two-thirds of that hockey game. At the end, he would go forward D off, forward D off. He was playing double shifts. All that with another separated shoulder. <laughs> An unbelievable effort. Zam Plant, we mentioned the state's leading scorer last season as a sophomore. 61 points on 29 goals and 32 assists. He is joined on varsity by the second plant, Max. The third plant, Victor, is still coming. But uh, to have more than one on the ice at the same time is a big thing. Absolutely, and it's it's really cool. To gonna, you're going to be able to see these guys. Obviously, they've played together in some capacity all the way up. And, you know, shoot, who knows? Maybe they'll let Victor skate varsity as a, as a uh, freshman, and we'll get all three of them together <laughs> next year. That would be the line. And, of course, uh, if you're familiar with the family history, Max is wearing his dad's college number, 26. And uh, the scion of the family, of course, is Bruce, the longtime coach. And I always wanted to be... Well, a legend in more than one hockey community, and Bruce is. Of course, he played at Cloquet, as is, did his son, Derek, who's now the associate coach at UMD. And Derek and Christy, the proud parents of three of the best young hockey players in the state. So it all comes down to uh, putting it on the ice, and they take on a Benilde St. Margaret's team that boasts one of the best defenders in the state, and Tristan Sarsland as well. So it's going to be a real interesting matchup here tonight. We're going to get the starting lineups, and Will, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, Read what you got here. Absolutely, we wait on the Benilde starting lineups here. The Red Knights last year with a record of 15 and six, they were eight and zero in conference play. Now we're actually going to start with the Hawks starting lineup. The home team it's Garen Upsall in goal, 16 and one last season. Bo Janzik draws a start at defense. The senior captain stand at 6'2", one of the more sizable players on this Hawks team. He'll be joined by the junior, number 22, George Peterson. Kate Kohansky is an intriguing player. He's a junior. He skated Bantams last year as a result of COVID, but insanely skilled winger. It's excited to see him tonight. And the aforementioned Max Plant wearing Father Derek's number. And there is Zam number 27. Where's 27 to quote unquote one up his father? We'll see how they perform tonight and the rest of the Hawks. Head coach Patrick Andrews in his fifth season on the bench. I would think in order to um, one-up his dad, he's going to have to get his name on a Stanley Cup more than once. That's true. We'll have that's to see how that plays out. <laughs> now Benilde. let's the starters for Benilde. So we're going to turn to Brennan Chapman, who got his first career varsity win in that 5-3 win over Hill Murray, had a great game. And the aforementioned Tristan Sarsland was recently committed to Colorado College, actually decommitted, looking to bet on himself this season. And the Brady Yakish, his partner, he is a Chippewa tender in the NAHL. It'll be Adam Marshall at forward. He is on pace to be a 100-point scorer at 89 as it stands now. And it'll be the underclassman Drew Stewart joining him. He had two goals in that win over Hill Murray this week. And Brendan McMorrow, another sophomore, will join him. One assist in that win. And the rest of the Benilde St. Margaret Red Knights head coach Ken Polly in his 31st season on the bench. All right, get ready for the National Anthem and then our start of our second game tonight here at the 2021 Champions Cup.
getting ready to get underway. Hermantown is in the white, blue numerals. And the Red Knights, not coincidentally, wearing red with the white numerals as they head left to right in the first period. The Hawks, now we'll see what they have uh, to show here tonight as they are ready to go. Everyone knows how talented they are and how deep they are. But this is a bit of an atypical Hermantown team in that it's only got six seniors. And this is uh, when Bruce Plant ran the program. He would run out 12, 13 seniors every year because he never caught a player. And that was uh, very important to Bruce. And this Hermantown team, much younger. Absolutely they are. You know, six seniors last year, they had seven. Obviously, the degree of player that those seniors were much higher. Your Joey Pierce, Aaron Pionk, Ethan Lunds. But this is one of the more deeper Hermantown teams in recent years, especially at the forward position. They're going to be rolling three solid lines. I'd, I'd venture to say one of the strongest third lines in the state. We'll see how much time they end up giving the fourth line tonight. But top to bottom, a very, very deep Hermantown squad this year. And a chance to make an early statement here against one of the best teams in Class AA. Garen Opsall in goal, as we mentioned last season, 16 and one goals against average a buck 34, 90.7 save percentage and four shutouts. And we are ready to go. Sam Plant will take the opening face-off for Hermantown season against Drew Stewart. And we are underway. Play is in the Benilde zone, now out to center ice, and over the line they come with Stewart. He gets past the defender, goes in a backhanded shot, goes wide to the far side of the net. Now loose to the left corner, played around behind the goal, and the Hawks get their first touch. It's Peterson. Playing up the wing, and now they break out. A pass for Zam Plant is intercepted. Step up there by Yak as she comes in over the line for Benilde. Now it goes off to the corner. He takes a bump in against the wall. Yakish tries to come out, but the Hawks get there first, and a rink-wide pass to center is tipped ahead, and Max Plant goes after it, and he spins in against the wall. Now here come the Knights through center. Adam Marshall over the line, and now the puck runs free to the blue line, and here come the Hawks. Plant and Plant over the line. Zam leaves a drop pass. And Janzig can't latch on to it. Comes to the left corner. Gavin Reed around behind the net. Ben Thompson for Benilde. Now the puck to the left point. And here's Ty Hansen shooting. He missed the net. Karam right in front. And Sam Plant on the rebound. They score! Sam Plant, 59 seconds into the game. And Hermantown is on serve and on notice. They lead it 1-0. Talk about a statement there, Jeff. A little bit sloppy there in the neutral zone. Uncharacteristic for the Hawks. Plant manages to get one in. A long shot, I believe it was Hansen, was blockered aside by Chapman. Thomas manages to kick it behind, and Zam, a former baseball star, showed off his hand-eye there, is able to bat it into the net. Hermantown on the board here. Sam Plant, it didn't take long. At uh, 59 seconds of the first period, and the Hawks have a one nothing lead at the announcement. And the assists on the goal for the Hawks, Hanson and Jack Olson, and now they break through center. Here's Wyatt Carlson over the line, leaves a drop pass, Thomas closes, and couldn't get a shot through. Hawks up one nothing here in the early going as Bloomdahl goes behind the net, Wyatt Carlson back for Gavin Bloomdahl, and runs towards the left point. Janzig holds the zone there, plays it along the wall, and now Dockman controlling for Benilde St. Margaret's. That's Mitchell Dockman down the far side with a full head of steam to center, and he carries it over the line but lost out. And now played back deep into the zone, and it's Nolan Barker in control for the Hawks behind the net. Up the near boards, Janzig, and they can't get out. Picked up there by Guerin. Ryan Guerin tried to feed the circle, and it's picked off by Janzig back in the corner. He goes behind the net for Barker, and it's played past the defender on that side, Gavin Reed, and here's a race for it. Dallas Dew after it for Herman Town, but he lost the foot race, but along the wall, the puck finally comes out, and here come the Red Knights to center. Yakish over the line. He feeds the left, and now it's lost in the circle and played around behind the net. Too far for Guerin for Benilde, and now loose to the circle and controlled by View. He plays it out to center for Hermantown, but it comes right back in. Geertsen, he goes down, and the play behind the Hawks goal where Ty Hansen controls it. Now he leaves it behind the net, and the pass on the far side gets past him, but Kate Kohansky is there, and he plays out to center as View plays it, and then Thompson got there first for Benilde, and over the line, now the puck lost, and here's Hansen at center ice. Two on two with a trailer over the line, and it's knocked to the corner boards, 
Fox will go behind the net, and that's Zam Plant again, feeding the left point. Now to the near side, Peterson tries a cross-ice pass. It's picked off, and the Knights come out. They have a three-on-two, and over the line, Stewart, and they're offside at the blue line. And the home crowd, not real pleased with that, but we go back to neutral. Yeah, a huge chance there, and I'm not going to lie, I thought it was a good call on the ice. Home crowd here seemed to disagree, but something I noticed in that shift, number 24, Dallas View skating his first shift for Hermantown. He was out there quite a while. I noticed Pat Andrews pulling him aside on the bench. Definitely want him to cut down that shift length for the next one. Now played back in the Hawks zone, and going back behind the net, Hansen clears to the near side, and the Hawks will work to center ice. And here is Zam Plant over the line, puts on a move. He got by Sarsland. He goes in, and his shot is stopped by Brennan Chapman, and now here come the Red Knights back to center. And a drop pass from Max Plant to Zam. Now a blind pass to the right side, and the Hawks will work up the slot, and it's stolen away, and this is a swashbuckling Hermantown team over the line. Marshall oh going in, he scores! Adam Marshall and Benelled has tied the game. Adam Marshall at the 341 mark of the first. Jeff, that's one of the prettier goals you're gonna see all night maybe all week, maybe all year. Adam Marshall with point number 90, goal number 39. He had a one-on-one. -on -one. Peterson tried to step off and he absolutely undresses him. Benilde is right back in this hockey game. Three minutes and 41 seconds, the time of the goal, and it's 1-1 here in St. Louis Park. Game on as Benilde with a big student crowd right in front of us. As you heard, over the line. Now played down behind the net. Going after it is Thomas. He centers it. Loose to Gavin Bloomdahl. Now we'll get the announcement of the goal. Yakish and Mason Stenger getting assists on the goal. And play is in the Benilde zone now. And it's loose to the left edge. The Knights go behind the net. Ben Thompson in control there, and they bank it high off the glass and out to center. Janzig will chase it down, feeds an open wing, and now comes to the near side boards, and it's played on in by Gaddy, Gino Gaddy. And now Jack Olson behind the net for the Hawks. They go to the left corner, 12.31 to go in the first period. 1-1 the score, a pass to center is tipped by Carlson in deep, and he heads for the bench as they change. Now here is Bloomdahl. Losing out behind the net, and the Red Knights will get possession. But now coming in on the forecheck is Josh Kapanen, and he makes the Knights come out quicker than they wanted, I reckon. And here's Yakish over the line, a centering pass, a bouncing puck goes off to the right boards, and it's controlled there by Kapanen as the 20s come together. Mitchell Dockman in against the wall. And now it's a four-car pile up there as players from both teams are in, and it's played to the left point, held in there by Reed, but we get a whistle. And we're going to uh, take a face off in the Hermantown zone. 11.57 left. Yeah, I believe that puck there bounced off the, uh, the outstretched glove of the backup, Dane Calloway. We'll see him in action tomorrow afternoon against Hill Murray. The Duluth East transfer, still only a sophomore, one of the only freshman starters in the program history. Now a shot right on to the goaltender. And Opsal makes the save on a point shot from Tristan Sarsland. We'll get a face off now on the right side. and. Actually, as I speak, Matt Kalpanen will be called off, and they're going to get Zam Plant back out there. But Kalpanen suffered a wrist injury Monday. They just they diagnosed it as a bone contusion. They said he missed two weeks, and here he is four days later. Well, time flies, as they say. Now a shot comes around the back of the net, and the Hawks will pick it up in the near side corner. A pass to center is tipped, and here comes Max Plant. He plays it ahead for Kohansky over the line. Puck bouncing, and it's controlled there by Sarsland, who plays it between the defenders and back into the Hermantown zone. And it's played by Opsal, goes behind the net, and now the Hawks one touch. Here's Zam Plant stepping through the middle, over the line, Max on the left, pass to the right, looking for Kohansky, and now behind the net, Zam Plant there looks to center. That's deflected back behind the net. Max Plant going in. He's taken to the boards there by Dockman. Now to the left point, Janzig plays to the circle. Here is Koharski shooting, save made, rebound chance, and a follow-up and a good opportunity there for Max Plant. Now he gets it again from Zam, and his shot is deflected wide. Here's Kohansky feeding the left point, and now Matthew Kapanen plays it down behind the goal, comes to the near circle, Hawks in control. Here's Cade Kohansky dropping it up the slot, Janzig, and then he is stripped of the puck by Stewart, and it's played back into the Hermantown zone. Good shift for the Hawks there. 
but nothing into the net as Max Plant lays it ahead and then he takes his seat as he is hit behind the play by McMorrow. And now in the left corner, centering pass comes right through to Thomas and he can't tip it. Now we have a Hermantown player down in the far corner as well as a shove given to Ty Hansen and it comes back out to center past Thomas all the way back into the Benilde end and icing is called on the Hawks. Max Plant will always and forever, unless he hits a magical growth spurt here in the next couple years, he'll always be one of the smaller players on the ice. We'll see what they got him listed at here. They have him at 5'7", 135. I think that's a little generous in both regards, but he takes a big hit there in the corner. Shaking it off right now on the bench. He'll have to get used to the more physical play here in high school. And he's got a number on his back, literally. You know, to, let's be fair. And here's a chance for Stenger, and he puts it through, and it comes off the traffic to the far side, and Thomas plays it, and I don't mean that literally, of course, but of course, his name and his number are going to draw him attention, and here's Stewart over the line. He feeds to the left. Here's a shot. Opsall with a save. Rebound. He scores! And Bunnell, Drew Stewart makes it 2-1 as they come back storming. Drew Stewart's third goal in two games, and Bunnell has its first lead. Stewart, one of the more dynamic young players on the ice, only a sophomore. But one of the best forwards, and he's just Johnny on the spot there, picks up a rebound. It might have been an Adam Marshall shot. One thing Upsall really struggled with last year, and it in the only game he lost was up in Grand Rapids, and it, the main problem, rebound control, as we saw there. Isn't able to smother the puck, it kicks out. And Drew Stewart is there to pick it up, and he leads. And Benild has its first lead of the night, and here they come with Guerin. He centers, and it comes through to the far side. We'll get the goal announcement here. Marshall gets one assist, and Brendan McMorrow the other. Play is in the Benilde zone, 9.43 to go on the first. Shots are 5-3 to three for Benilde, and it's 2-1 Red Knights on the scoreboard as they ice the puck. Peter Gertzen played it in from his own side of center, and that will bring it back into the night zone for a draw with 9.36 left in an action-packed first period. Absolutely, and I think early in, a, in, a, in an interseason game like this, early on where you have a North team versus a South team, you expect there to be a little bit of a feeling out period where they're not as aggressive, but we had a scrimmage up north just a couple weeks ago, which in my opinion is alleviating some of that. These guys are going full on early on. And a face-off coming up to the left now of Chapman. Hawks control, but they fan on a point shot from Barker, and now the Red Knights break in. And hustling back, Janzig restores order there. Now Kohanski with the plants out there, pass to the left, and Max can't pick it out of the air. Actually, he did tip it. They took off the icing. Behind the net, Zam Plant looks to center it, and it comes to the near boards. Max feeds Kohanski. He shoots. He didn't miss by much, and it's cleared by... The Knights and Peterson back in his zone to the left for Max Plant. Now a pass to the right and over the line they come. And that's Kohanski. He's stripped of the puck and it's poked out to center. And the Hawks, Hansen banks it off the wall to the near side. It's controlled by Ben Norris. And now the Hawks gain it in their own zone coming up on the halfway mark of the first period. And over the line they come. Ty Hansen takes a shot stick save by Chapman off to the corner wall. Now Kohanski plays it down deep. Drew Stewart throws a hit. And he's battling there with Zam Plant. Puck comes around to the near side, and now here comes Benilde back. They come through center. McMorrow hits the line. Got around the defender, looks to center, comes around the right side, now drops it up the slot for Sarsland. Near side, Thompson. He closes, and he can't get a shot through. Here's Sarsland, one-timing one. A save made by Opdahl, and now it comes up the slot area as Opsall had a good chance and a good save, I should say, as it's played into the zone. And now we're going to get a penalty yep. as Max Plant is hit by Ben Thompson with a high stick. And I believe it's going to be a Hermantown power play here. Roughing. Yeah, they're going to get him for a rough. He did. In my opinion, I do think he finished that hit more than he should have. But Hermantown to the power play, the power play, a huge strength for them last year. They were 42.3%. On the year, but a big a big loss for them was the senior defenseman Aaron Pionk now in the NAHL, and it looks like now a defense are going to roll out. They're going to put View back in that role that Pionk filled last year as that little hybrid man. We'll see how it pans out for him. All right, penalty is 8:51. Roughing on Thompson. Hermantown on the power play for the first time, and now the puck 
off the wall. Here's Kohansky shooting. It's loose in the slot. And now backhanded past the open wing and out to center, and the Hawks will have to retreat there. First power play, as we mentioned. Spinning there in the center circle is Dallas View, and he leaves it. Kick back into the zone, and Hermantown will set up its power play. 134 to go. And they will carry. Play it into the zone as Peterson laid it ahead to the wall, and now Dallas View, and this is not the first line out here. They just came off. Here's Bloomdahl feeding it high in the slot, and the Hawks work perimeter. And the puck is stolen away, and here's Dockman feeding it ahead, and they'll play it to the Hermantown line. Hawks will get the puck back, and it's played deep into the zone. 7.15 in the first, a minute five in the power play. Wyatt Carlson over the line, tried to go through a screen, and it actually went off the defender, Gavin Reed, and trickled just wide. Hawks get it in deep, a centering pass, and Thomas can't connect with it. Comes to the near wall, and... Now in front of the net, finally it's trickling up the slot and out to center, and Hansen will loop with it there for Hermantown, and they'll reset. 44 seconds to go in the power play. Now that first unit is out. Max Plant off to the right side looking there for Thomas. And now Dominic Thomas is poked away, and here's a breakaway for Benel, and it's Sarsland going in on goal. And a great save! A tremendous stop by Opsal, and back comes Hermantown. Over the line, Max Plantner offside on the left as getting in a little bit early was Janzig, but what a stop by Garen Opsall there. How did that stay out of the net? Opsall, he gets down there on his stomach and he kicks out the left pad. It, it trickles back out and Ty Hansen managed to sit on it. Eventually he cleared out. Garen Opsall has to feel good to make that big save. Short-handed goals will kill you. 22 seconds left in the Hawks power play and it's a 7-4 advantage in shots for the Red Knights play in the Hermantown zone. Janzig is hotly pursued there by McMorrow and now he comes up the middle. 10 seconds in the power play near side Zamplant over the line tries to go inside and then back to the out and he lost control. Janzig at the left point, Zamplant on the wall. Now Manil back to full strength, pass to the right point. Hansen feeds it down low. Here's Zamplant shooting and a toe save by Chapman off to the near wall. Played to the left point, it gets past Janzig and back out to center. Hawks will control in the center circle and here's Ty Hansen shooting it back in as they will get a change. Play now in the far corner of the Red Knights zone. Kohansky goes to the boards with Tristan Sarsland and now he gets some help from his friends and Drew Stewart will come in as will Matt Kapanen for Hermantown. He comes out with a puck, he's got a man cruising the slot and can't get it to him as it's poked away to the near side. He had Josh Kapanen open. Here's a shot by Peterson that floats wide and comes out to center. Five and a half to go in the period. And off to the near wall it comes and it's shot in by Matthew Kapanen as Chapman sets it up. Now runs over to the left boards and it's controlled by Risto for Benil. Now shot all the way down the ice. It will come on to the goaltender, no icing. Cleared to the near side boards and here is Carter Rother, number 10, playing it ahead. And now here comes Hermantown back. Kapanen, they're offside as Joshua Kappen in a little bit early on the left. Face off at neutral with 5.06 left in the first. 2-1 Benilde. And as good as the Hawks power play unit is that we talked about, you can make the argument Benilde's penalty kill unit is even better. They killed penalties at a 93.9% .9 clip last year. That's impressive enough when you play a soft schedule like Hermantown did. Benilde still had a very strong schedule. Creighton Durham Hall twice among others. Now played back into the Hermantown zone from the face off. And now swatted back in and chasing after it there is Hansen. He's getting pressure, that high pressure in the forecheck is uh, making Hermantown's defenders make plays. It comes over the line and now a shot floats wide off the traffic to the near boards. But very aggressive forecheck from Benilde here in the early going. And it comes out to center past Hansen. And now played over to the near side. And over the line comes Wyatt Carlson. Oh, a nice toe drag. He shoots a save made. Rebound cruising the slot. Bloomdahl was looking for it, and it's underneath Chapman. And a faceoff coming up for Hermantown in the offensive zone. Wyatt Carlson, beautiful move there, similar to the one we saw earlier from Hansen on that Hermantown goal. Chapman with a nice save, knocks it down, and is able to cover. Faceoff to the right of the Benilde goal. 4.28 to go in the first period. Now played behind the net. Yakish in control for the Red Knights. He has it stripped. Zam Plant closes. He centers it, and it hopped over Max Plant. It went off the traffic to the near side. And the Knights control. Out to center they come. 
Aiden Wallstrom plays it into the zone. And a shot and a save made by Opsala goes behind the net, rings the boards to the near side, and the Hawks gain control. Pass to the right, and they break out. Now on the wing they come, and here's Kohansky closing in. Got past one, he shoots, and a save made there by Chapman. Puck runs towards the right point, held in by Hansen. He can't see the net, plays it beside the goal. Going after it is Kohansky with under four minutes to go. Now loose, there's Zam Plan. It was in too deep to shoot. He tries to break it off the goaltender. And what creativity by Zam Plant there. He was behind the net and tried to bank it off the goaltender in a corner pocket shot there, but Chapman had the answer. That is truly a rink rat play from Zam Plant. Growing up with him, if he wasn't at school, he wasn't at home, he was at the rink doing stuff like that with no one around and almost got to pay off there. I thought that one might have been able to sneak in. It's like Phil Mickelson practicing you know, flop shots, right? It's just, it's just kind of the thing. You never know when you're going to need one. And now in the near corner, a centering pass and a backhanded shot goes behind the net. Now another centering pass comes up the slot. Hawks work the high slot and a shot right on from George Peterson is gloved by Chapman with 326 left in the first period. Looks like it'll be Matt Kalpinen out there again, coming off the injury, but he was a huge part of the Hawks' success last year. Not the flashiest name, but a very solid third line contributor. They're gonna need him to put up a couple points tonight. Now behind the goal, Manilda St. Margaret's in control of the puck. Sarsland feeds it ahead and it comes out to center. Hansen stepping up and now played back into the Hawks' zone. Peterson on the turn, and now here's Dallas View to center. Matthew Kapanen over the line, trying to center one there for Joshua. Now it comes back into the Hawk zone. Hanson after, less than three minutes to go in the first. Two won the score. Benilde on top, Hawk scored in the opening minute. And Benilde St. Margaret come back to tie and then take the lead later on in this period. And over the line comes Hermantown. This is Dominic Thomas. He leaves a drop pass, good pass. Shot by Carlson and a toe save by Chapman. Comes off to the near boards, and now Hansen takes a shot that goes off the traffic and wide, chasing after it. Thomas along the boards, one against two, and now a pass out to center ice, and the Hawks will reclaim it there. Benilde is changing, and over the line, Barker. He leaves a drop pass. Thomas shoots, and I don't think the goaltender had a good view of where that puck went when it came off him. Now it comes to the left boards, and it's controlled by Yakish for Benilde St. Margaret's out to center. Here they come, and they have a two-on-one if they hurry, but a drop pass is picked off. And here come the Hawks back. Bloomdahl feeds the center circle. Thomas, he heads for the bench as they change, and he dumps it in. Wyatt Carlson chasing for Hermantown. It comes to the near wall with two minutes to go, and the Red Knights try to gain possession, and now Max Plant in on the forecheck. Comes to the near side, and Stewart tries to play it up the wall, and that's delayed there by Bloomdahl skates, and it's dug out by Max Plant. He tries to center, comes through to the right side, controlled by Janzig, a shot, and a save by Chapman. Comes up the slot, and they try to feed the far wall, and do. Here's Bloomdahl. Goes in deep, centers it, and Max Plant with a swipe at Another backhanded shot. Comes through to the far side. Good shift for the Hawks here. And now they come in from the point, and a shot whistles wide of the goal from Janzig. Comes up the boards, and it's poked out to center ice. Hawks will keep possession, though, as backing into the zone. Zam Plant on the turn, 120 to go. And the Red Knights change. Sam Plant, full head of speed. Over the line, he closes in. He's forced behind the net. Swings around, looks to center. Nobody home. And it's controlled there. Yakish to the far boards. Red Knights come to center ice. Loose to the circle, and now played into the Hermantown zone of the right. And the Hawks will go after it there. George Peterson, last minute of play in the period. And then he staples a Benil player to the boards. And now Puck comes loose to the wall, and now played out to center past Kohansky. Here's Tristan Sarsland backing into his zone, feeding the far side. And now Zam Plant between the feet pass, and here's Kohansky closing in lobs to the right. Here's Max Plant shooting, and a save made. Oh, the referee had one arm up, and the puck is shot all the way down the ice. Then he thought better of it as Chapman got run over. Now the puck in the right corner, and with 17 seconds to go in the period, Benilde St. Margaret's trying to Find some space. Here's Janzig feeding up the left wall, and it's going to run back into the Hawks zone deep to the right. Janzig after it. He tries the middle this time, and Sarsland picks it out of the air. They're going to get him for a high here. And a high stick called. And they're going to take a faceoff back in the Benilde zone with less than 14 seconds to go in the first. I've been very impressed by Hermantown's play in the offensive zone. The defensive zone's been another story, and the neutral zone a little bit as well. Just not quite as crisp as head coach Patrick Andrews wants to see. 
passes aren't quite tape to tape, that's definitely going to be something they talk over in the locker room. Puck down, and it's in the right corner of the Benil zone. They go behind the net, view looking to center, and Zamplan had a swipe at it. And we got a whistle, the net's off with three seconds to go in the period, and now we have pushes and shoves. Adam Marshall and Ty Hansen greeting each other. That's yep. all the way back in the Hawks zone. Brady Yakish had the stick break off in his hands there and instinctively started to head back to the bench, but there's an active play in front of the net, and he's getting barked at right now by the Bill Old St. Margaret's bench for it, in addition to exchanging words with one of the linesmen as he tosses a stick up, and it looks like he already has a replacement in hand. We'll have one more, one more face-off here in the period. 3.6 seconds to go, Zam Plant on the draw for Hermantown right in front of us. And it goes behind the net, and that's the end of the period as Yakish takes it off the left, and now we got a late hit thrown behind the play. And players from both teams congregating here. And we will let the officials sort this out. Yeah, we'll see who they're gonna get some, uh, some early frustrations boiling over here. And all the Red Knights off the bench against just the Hermantown players that were on the ice. They stayed back at their bench area. And we will see as the officials are going over to talk to our scorekeeper and our public address announcer, Robin Cook. So he will uh, tell us what he knows, if there's anything to tell. And he's given an explanation here to Pat Andrews. I would assume we're going to get some offsetting roughing minor penalties here. We have a penalty on the board for Hermantown. It's going to be Wyatt Carlson. He did look to be the instigator in that one. So Wyatt Carlson for Hermantown, and that appears to be the only penalty. So I, I for one, am shocked. I thought they were going to get, thought they were going to get a Benil player, but uh, Benil will open on the power play here in the uh, in the second period. All right, that will uh, do it for our first here. It is two to one, Benil. Zam Plant for Hermantown, Marshall and Stewart for the Red Knights. And we'll take a break to resurface the ice and we'll come back with our second period. This is the 2021 Champions Cup on the Youth Hockey Hub.
Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza, the ingredients for a great time.
Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matzo Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matzo Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Second period as Hermantown takes the ice. There was one penalty issued at the end of that first period, and it was to Hermantown's Wyatt Carlson at 17 minutes. So it will give Benild a power play as we start the second period. Their first, and uh, emotions being what they are, it's difficult to uh, to judge on it. But you would have thought there would be more than one penalty there. Yeah, especially with the uh, the entire Benild bench emptying. Granted, in the direction of the goalie, but. Just Carlson for the roughing, and this uh, this Hermantown penalty kill oftentimes was the kryptonite in tight games last year, and we're going to see how they respond to a uh, to a Benilde unit that was slightly above average last year, 28.3% on demand advantage. Well, they got skills, uh, so <laughs> we shall see as teams change ends and will attack towards their benches here in the second period. Tomorrow we kick off with Benilde and Eden Prairie at 12:30 here from. It was Park Rec Center, and then Hill Murray and Hermantown clash at 2.30 to close us out. And then Hockey for Life is coming up on the 28th, 29th, and 30th from Dakota Arena. Latino Grace, Chaska, Lakeville North, Prior Lake, St. Thomas Academy, Eden Prairie, Moorhead, and Edina are the teams that are contesting that. That's going to be a good tournament, and we'll have all 12 games for you here on the Youth Hockey Hub. I will be more than pleased to call all 12. And uh, three days of quads is not an insurmountable task, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> We've all been there. Yes. Actually, the most games I ever called in a day was eight for Tony. That during, is during the show about three years ago, I called eight games at Mariucci Arena back to back to back to back to back to back to back. That is an absolute bagger. It was 13 hours uh, straight on the stream and we are underway in the second period as Sarsland circles for Benilde. They have the power play and he leaves a drop pass and over the line they come and this is Drew Stewart feeding it over to the near side. Hawks will get there and clear. It's all the way down the ice. Yeah, Plant on the opening draw there actually lost his second, seventh consecutive face-off of the game. He's 0 for 7. They're going to need him to turn that around here. 
And over the line, they are keeping face-off stats here. There's a full SID set up here at Benilde, so we get to, to see how the other half lives here. As you see. Some places like Oakland and have shot boards as it comes across to the near side, and Yakish had to go off the heel of his stick over the glass and out of play. Okay, 123 in the power play. Scratch the first one. And 16 22 to go in the first. I got two seconds of it, so just say, hard didn't work, all right? Face off coming up in the Hermantown zone to the right of Garen Opsall. Sarsland from the face off works towards the high slot, now feeds over to Stewart in the circle. As Benilde works it down low, here's Sarsland. He takes a shot, and that hurt. Block it Thomas. Dominic Thomas, and it comes out to center ice. He felt that one, but he shook it off. Hockey players are tough, and then he goes back to the bench. And now over the line, Marshall. He hits the line. Marshall tries to come down low, and he lost possession. Here's McMorrow, and he feeds the left point. There's nobody there, and it comes back out to center, and Sarsland will come back for it. Pursued there by Bloomdahl, and now he's forced even deeper. Sarsland stops behind the net, and now Vanil with 40 seconds remaining on the power play, starts the rush through center. Stewart with another good move, comes in over the line, he goes down, and the fans want a penalty, they won't get one, comes to the near circle, and a cross ice pass to the far side for Gaddy, and his shot is stopped by Opsall. Check that, Adam Marshall, and we're gonna get a face off of 28 seconds to go in the power play at 15.27 left in period number two. Yeah, I like that no call there up the middle. He, uh, he kind of lost an edge and it just That's coincidentally it. happened to be where Janzik's stick was. Hermantown will not have to go to the five on three. They've got 28 seconds left of killing. All right, we'll take a face off. And we have a word being exchanged here between the referee and the linesman. Here, they're checking out the Hermantown goal. Now we'll take a face off finally once they get that fixed. And they've got some problem with the magnet. That's what it is. Having to, research, to uh, shave some ice down and reposition the Hawks goal here. It's reminiscent of that uh, the college football championship game. I believe yes. it was Wisconsin. Yeah, the, the turf came up. Yeah, it was yeah. the Big Ten championship. Yeah, it was the Big Ten championship. They yes. had the turf, turf come up in the end zone get the field crew out there working frantically to get that turf back in, and that's what they're doing here with the uh, with the goal post. Now the guy that did that, I remember that he got a handshake from the referee as he left the field, which was good for him. And now we seem to have that issue solved in the Harmontown zone. Next, we will work on carrying the common cold. Face off coming up to the left of Opsal. 15-27 to go in the period, 28 in the power play. Faceoff comes right onto the goaltender, and that is two seconds of their lives. They'll never get back, and a faceoff coming up to the left again. Plant gets on the board with the faceoffs. That's his first win of the game. Uh, something he's traditionally strong in. And Benilde wins this draw. Work to the high slot, now feed over to the far wall. Norris, Gavin Reed, back over to Norris. Ben Norris. Scored a goal in the opener, now Reed takes a shot, and that's deflected over the glass and out of play, I believe, by Sam Plant. We'll get a face off with 10 seconds on the power play. A very strong penalty kill here for the Hawks, only one shot on goal. Really, they've kept any high, high opportunity chances steered away from the net, and they've only got to kill 10 more seconds. It looks like Peterson's going to come off in favor of Janzik. And another face off win for Benil. Thompson tried to go through a screen, and couldn't get it through. Reed plays it down to the corner. Three seconds to go on the power play as Carlson standing in the penalty box comes on. And the Hawks are back at full strength. A cross ice pass. Missed everybody. And now it's banked off the wall, but not out of the zone. Benilde still holding it in as Risto plays it down into the corner. Here's Hansen after it behind the net. And he lost it. It dribbles out to the right edge. And the Hawks are able to take control. Here's Kohansky. And now back they come. Hansen with a lead pass for Carlson, fresh out of the penalty box. And now Zam Plant plays it in. Cleared right back out by the Red Knights. Loose in the center circle. Zam Plant picks it up. He's over the line. He feeds the left. That's a good pass. And here's a shot that goes over the top from Kohansky, who was always rising now behind the goal. Kohansky comes out the near side looking to get the Janzig at the right point and can't. Play down with a glove. And now coming out of that. Wall is Janzig's uh, centering pass for Kohansky, excuse me, it's picked off and now Gertsen back for Benilde St. Margaret's. A nice step up there by Janzig, wins the puck back for Hermantown. Pass 
unable to be controlled by Carlson. He heads to the bench as Hermantown will change the whole lot right now. And out come the Red Knights. It's tipped ahead by Aiden Wallstrom. And now closing in is Guerin. He looks to center it, and it's broken up in the right circle. The Hawks able to play it out to center, and now they break through neutral ice. Dallas View tries to center it, and it goes off the skates of Kappen. And actually, Josh Kappen, I think he tried to shoot that, and it wound up going off the defense, and it looked like a centering pass. Is over the line. The Red Knights come, and here's Max Plant feeding it ahead. Now Joshua Kappen over the line, and they've split up the plants here on this uh, on this line. Now over the line comes the Red Knights, and Stewart goes down in the near corner. Benil controls the puck and runs to the left point, and a shot and a save made there by Opsal. Now loose to the right boards, and Stewart will play it down. And it's controlled now out to center by Yakish, and it's poked away. Now Yakish. Over the line and it's offside. We'll get a face off at neutral ice with 12.53 to go in the second. Hermantown trails Benil two to one, but is out shooting them 12 to nine. It does look like they're putting that trio of sophomores together on the second unit. It's Max Plant, Dallas View, Josh Kalpin, and trying to get some new life here. Kind of mix things up. Now play behind the Hermantown goal. And they still can't get out of the zone. The near side, Marshall. Goes to the corner. And now played around behind the Hawks goal. McMahon all along the board, spinning there, trying to get away from Carlson. Feeds the wall to Stewart. And Drew Stewart turns and plays it down for the Red Knights. A centering pass is tipped there by Thomas. And Hermantown comes to center. Dominic Thomas steps around a man, comes to the red line, feeds Carlson. And then it's poke checked off his stick by Sarslin and goes to the corner boards. Now with 12-12 to go in the period, Hermantown has the puck at center. Bloomdahl drops it back in his zone for Hansen, and that will let Benilde finish a change. And now a long pass up the middle, and here's a breakaway. It's Carlson, and the defender on him, and a good stop by Chapman. He had just half a step, Well, and it uh, was enough to get him in for a good shot. Absolutely, and it a great save by Chapman with the glove, but. A more impressive shot by Carlson, in my opinion. He, he uh, he's tied up with the left hand. He had a little one-hand flick on goal. Impressive that he was able to put in the spot he was. But it amounts to nothing as we get a face-off now to the left side. Face-off to Chapman's left and a win there. And here's Peterson closing, shooting. Rebound! And Max Plant has robbed by Chapman at the left edge. Centering pass, loose. And it comes to the right point. Good effort there by Plant as Peterson feeds it down low. And in the circle... They'll go to the wall. It's dug out. Here come the Hawks in deep. A centering pass. Sam Plant shoots, and he had an open side, and he put it over the top. And Hermantown buzzing now as Benilde St. Margaret's picks it up. The plants are back together, and that's instant offense here for Hermantown in the second period as Janzig goes behind the net. He's ridden out against the boards, and it's a four-car pile up there. Now it's played up the middle, and here come the Hawks back. There's Peterson over the line. A player on the left, that is Kohansky. And now behind the net, he is shouldered hard in against the boards by Yakish. As they go to the wood, now players from both teams in behind the net trying to dig it out. Coming up on six minutes gone in the second period. Centering pass comes up the slot. And the Hawks, Hanson, just a step slow getting to it. But Hermantown controls Max Plant. Now over to Hanson. He takes a shot, missed everything. And now the carom is played along the far boards. And down and Hermantown will keep possession. Zam Plant along the wall. And now it's controlled by Kohansky behind the net, and he lost out. Now it's cleared to not out as Hansen holds it in. He takes a shot. Save made by Chapman, and the puck comes up the slot. It's backhanded down the ice for a stoppage that Benil desperately needs. 10.31 to go in the second. And that was a long shift for all parties involved, but perhaps the longest sustained offensive pressure we've seen from Hermantown this far. They've already put up four shots in the period. After spending the first two minutes on the penalty kill, they're going to look to keep it going here. It looks like it's going to be the third unit, the Kalpman brothers and Carter Rother at center. All right, puck down, and it's controlled by Thompson behind the goal for Benilde, and he lost possession. Hermantown looking to center it in deep, and Marshall is there to clean up, and here comes Benilde over the line, and they are offside on the left as McMorrow was in too early. McMorrow and, and Hanson, a little friendly John there, maybe not so friendly. We're going to get a, uh, we're getting offside to face off near the Benilde bench. Faceoff comes outside. 
course. On the offside, and it's controlled by Benilde from the faceoff. Sarsland, the red line, shoots it in. And Opsal cuts it off behind the goal, now left there. And it's controlled by Will Esterbrooks, number five, and it's played up the middle. Esterbrooks then lost possession, has to come back for it, and he relays it out to center. Now Carter Rother over the line, and he backhands one deep into the Benilde zone. Chapman out to clear to the near side. And they try to dig it out along the near boards and it runs towards the point. Hansen holds it in, shoots through a screen, and Chapman makes a good save. Now controlled by Janzing along the wall. He's having trouble now as two red shirts come in. It's laid to the left point, picked up there by Josh Kapanen. Out of the near side, a centering pass, and it goes off the heel of the stick of Matthew Kapanen behind the goal. As the Kapanens are buzzing here, a centering pass picked off in the slot. Now here comes McMorrow back up the near wing, and Marshall over the line. That's broken up, and here's a chance for Hermantown as Rother plays it ahead. They go in on the right. Joshua Kapanen back. Handed shot, save, rebound. Oh, and it's in the glove of Chapman. Boy, was that a good stop by Brennan Chapman, who stayed with it all the way and got the glove in to make the save. I've been very impressed by Brennan Chapman this far tonight. Josh Calvin and hungry for that first varsity goal and point. He had uh, he was in all alone. Forehand, backhand, couldn't get it to go, and we're uh, Hermantown still trails by one here. 9.14 to go in period number two as the Red Knights break through the middle and over the line they come. Caleb Koski, number 17, and now played over to the left side, and now the Hawks will get control with Janzig in his zone. Leaves it up the wall for Carlson. Now a rink-wide pass to the right for Peterson, and his pass goes all the way into the Manil zone deep for an icing call. 8.54 as we come up on the halfway mark of regulation time and a 2-1 Manil lead. Little face off to the right side, Upsall. I will say his blocker side historically has been his weaker side. He's stronger with the glove. He's actually a baseball shortstop. Started there in the Hawks in, the, uh, in baseball for the spring. Played up the near side from the face off, and Hermantown comes to center. It's Bloomdahl shooting it in, and a big rebound by Chapman, and then a follow up shot goes wide. As he slid across, he left a big rebound off in the far circle. Hawks get it to the right point. Here's Peterson stepping around a man, comes to the top of the left circle as the goalie sees it, shoots, and somehow it got through. Save, and here's Gertsen back for Benilde. Down the far side, he's working with Wallstrom, comes over the line, and Wallstrom goes behind the net, looking to center it. That's stolen away, and the Hawks pick it up along the near boards. They're out shooting Benil 20 to nine right now. Here comes Hansen over the line. Cuts to the slot, scores! Ty Hansen cut to the middle and then beat the goaltender to the far side, and the Hawks have tied the game at two. The Hermantown bench explodes. They're waiting on that one for a while. That's the type of shot that's going to send Ty Hansen to the University of Minnesota Duluth in 2024. Beautiful. He picks, picks Chapman glove side. He'd been great over there all night. But Hansen, with his first even strength goal in his varsity hockey career, I am glad I'm able to say that. He had nine power play goals last season for the Hawks. Well, I, I wouldn't begrudge him nine. <laughs> you know? You've got a point there. <laughs> that's, that's for a sophomore is quite a number. Here come the Hawks back in over the line. Matthew Kapanen fires and that goes wide of the net. Let's get the goal here. We'll get the announcement. George Peterson gets the only assist at 8.46 and we are even at two. Hawks have outshot Benil 21 to nine now. And out to center. Here come the Red Knights. Yakish carries over the line. They're four wide. Did they come in? Here's a shot and a paddle save there by the goaltender. Opsal, and he puts it over the net again out of play. 7.40 to go here in the second period. And a 2-2 game. As I said, that offensive pressure building for Hermantown. They were getting shot after shot after shot. Hansen breaks the ice, and now we'll see how Benild, uh, we'll see how Benild answers here. Well, they answered with two goals the last time, and we'll see how... Uh, they handle it, but Hermantown has really stepped it up a notch here in the second period. And Zam Plant behind the net. Another one of those crazy hops off the boards. That time he was ready for it. And now Hansen will swing through center. Ty Hansen over the line. It stops on the half wall, takes a shot. It's blocked by Thompson. It goes over the top. Now a centering pass all alone in front. Max Plant threw it across for Zam, and it was blocked. Now here comes Benilde back, and they play it in, and Norris 
will flip it in deep and head for the bench as the Knights get a change. Now Hermantown in possession. Long pass to center is picked up, and here comes Kohanski. He goes over the line. Zam Plant back for Kohanski, and it was just out of his reach. Comes to the near wall, and Kohanski after it. Now it comes to the boards, and he looks to take a shot, and he faked it. Comes down to the near corner, and Hermantown will cycle. Max Plant feeds it across. Here's a shot to save. A rebound. On the doorstep. And it's loose, and it somehow got steered wide behind the net. And now we got players falling behind the net. Hawks putting on great pressure now. And it's picked up and played down by Matthew Kapanen. Behind the net, they're playing with the puck behind the Benilde goal like they own it. And now it's played to the left point. It's going to be held up in the high slot. Here's a shot and a save on Nolan Barker as it comes to the near wall. Hermantown trying to dig it out. They center. Barker, one touch to Hanson at the right. He winds and fires, and that's deflected off the glass to the left boards. And Hermantown really turning it up now. This is a super shift for them. They try to center. It hits the back of the net as Zam Plant looking to make something happen, as he always does, tries to dig it out. He's taken to the boards there by Ben Thompson. Puck to the right edge. It's loose, and it skitters through the crease to the near side. Six minutes to go in the period, and Benilde will ice the puck. And they get another stoppage. they got to have some dead legs out there. That was a tremendous shift for Hermantown. Benilde is lucky to get out of that shift unscathed. Shot after shot after shot, constant pressure around the net. That's one of the best shifts we've seen from the Hawks all night, and they're going to follow it up with the Rother line. Benilde, they, uh, their side of the rink's a little deflated. They haven't had much movement in the offensive zone since that power play. they got to get something going here. Now from the faceoff, it's loose in the circle and rolls over towards the left point, and Janzig plays it to the wall, and now Hermantown will dig it right off the wall. A centering pass, a shot, and a stick saved by Chapman on Matthew Kapanen. Now they come around the near side and try to wrap around but couldn't control, and the Red Knights will play to center. They break through, and here's Yakish. He's over the line. He leaves a drop pass, and it's deflected by Matthew Kapanen, the goaltender. Opsal reaches up and grabs it with 5.33 left in period two. It's going to be interesting to see how Benilde answers here. Ken Paul in his 31st season on the bench admitted he said scoring, scoring against our most difficult opponents was a problem last year. That's something they looked to resolve on this faceoff here. And they almost went right in and did just that as Ryan Guerin put it wide of the goal. Loose in the near corner. Now to the left point it comes to Reed. And he lost possession. Hawks play it out to center. And Benilde now, Gaddy feeds it across to the right. Now a center circle over the line. Koski is knocked in against the wall. And the puck comes down. It's controlled on the far side by Matthew Kapanen. Passes off the heel of Josh Kapanen's stick. And now Sarsland feeds it over to the right. Five minutes to go in the period. Long pass is picked off by Janzig. Sarsland plays it. And the center circle. Now to the left. Janzig picks it up. And it goes high off the dasher back into the... Zone and a steal. Here comes Carter Rother, and he can't get a shot away. Hawks keep possession down low. Rother beside the net. Check that Wyatt Carlson. Now drops it up the slot. Here's a shot and a save through traffic by Chapman and George Peterson. And we'll get a faceoff in the Benilde zone. 25 to 11 the shots now. It's now 13 to 4 in the second period for Hermantown. And it has been that kind of period. Sometimes shots don't tell the story, but here I think they do. Absolutely, and this is exactly what Coach Pat Andrews wanted when he went in the locker room. Surely called for more offensive pressure and more structure in the defensive zone. They've been far more structured in their own defensive zone. It's going to be a faceoff now, one by view. And here's a shot and a save by Chapman through traffic, and Hermantown doing a nice job of setting up screens as well, and just everything else they're doing right in the second period. Here's Hanson shooting, and that's blocked. It comes out to center, and Hanson retreats. Banks it off the wall to the near side. It's played in by Bloomdahl, and it goes behind the net. Set up there, and here's Yakish behind the net. He loses possession. Hawks get control. They center it. Here's Peterson working to the high slot on the backhand. Flips it towards the net. Follow-up shot, and that doesn't get through as Bloomdahl tried to shovel one towards the net as we come up on four minutes to play in period number two. Off to the far wall, and here's Norris trying to get out, and he can't. Left point it comes, and the Hawks flatten it out, and there's a shot that goes off the traffic from Hanson, and now loose up the slot. And it's controlled by the Red Knights. They come out three against three through center. And here's Yakish trying to play it in. Check that, Drew Stewart. And loose to the wall now on the near side. And it runs on out to center. It's controlled there by Sarsland. Over to the far side for Benilde. Banked off the wall to center. And Ty Hansen tried to play it ahead. Hermantown finishing a change. The Knights come in three on two. Over the line of the near side. Here's Risto shooting. He scores! Risto! And it's 3-2 for Benilde. They've got three goals on 12 shots. 
and they regain the lead. The Penilda offense back from the dead. Michael Risto beats Upsall short side, and on the 12th shot of the game, they get their third goal. Risto, the five foot nine sophomore, beats Upsall as the Benilde St. Margaret student section is absolutely giving it to Upsall. Kind of rough justice on Garen Opsal, who was a fine goaltender, but uh, he's given up three goals on 12 shots here. Risto's second goal of the season for Benild. Hawks control from the faceoff. They have dominated this second period, but are no closer than they were at the end of the first right now. We'll get the announcement on the goal. Assists on the goal going for Ben Norris and Ben Thompson. And it's 3-2 Benilde with 3.08 to go on a faceoff coming up in the Benilde zone as Hermantown went right back to the attack. Well, it's going to be huge if they can get a goal here to turn the tides for the period. Momentum so crucial in these huge road games. 3.08 to play in the period. And Zam Plant on the draw lost it. And it comes to the right corner. Now banked on out to center and loose in the circle. Controlled now by McMorrow over the line, and he lost the puck, and here comes Hermantown back. This is Max Plant, Zam on the right, over the line. He can't get it to him, but Zam crisscrosses with him, takes it in deep. He shoots from a sharp angle, and a save made by Chapman. And now to the left point it comes, and Stewart lost control, and here they come with McMorrow over the line, feeds it ahead, going in Marshall! He scores! Adam Marshall, and it's a two-goal lead for Bunnell with 2.35 left. In period number two, Adam Marshall is living up to his billing as one of the state's best forwards. That's goal number 40, his second of the game. He's been stunning tonight now, the Benilde student section again. But that that simply cannot happen. Hermtown has to get out of this period without giving up another. This game might be as good as gone. 4-2 Benilde here. They have scored four goals on 13 shots. Hermantown has scored two goals on 26 shots. And from the draw, it's back into the Benilde zone. And it's controlled by Yakish over to the near side. And we'll get the announcement in a moment here as Wallstrom comes in over the line. And then it's broken up. Let's get the goal here. McMorrow and Thompson as here comes Benilde again over the line. Guren goes behind the net. Comes out the left side, it's picked up by Dominic Thomas. He tries to play it forward, and now the Hawks do break out, and a backhanded pass over the line they come. Matthew Kapanen, he comes to the near corner. He's taking it against the boards. Less than two minutes to go in the period. Now everyone follows into the left corner, and a centering pass is picked off, and here come the Red Knights back. Geertsen feeds it. And Wallstrom plays it in, and it comes right back out to center. Hawks circling, Kohansky to the right. Matthew Kapanen over the line, waiting, and he leaves a good pass up the slot, and a shot by Hanson, a blocker pad saved by Chapman, as the Hawks get a 27th shot. 90 seconds to go, fed over to the near side, and here's a chance and a shot by Esther Brooks. Didn't miss by a whole lot. Now loose to the left point. Hawks will hold the zone. Hanson there, rings it around on the boards to the near side, and Esther Brooks chases after it. He's in deep. Esther Brooks now... Losing possession, and the Red Knights gain it behind their net. 108 to go, but they can't clear, and Hansen feeds it down low. It's picked up there by Bloomdahl in the corner. One against two. It runs back out to Hansen, who works to the high slot. Last minute of play. Hawks work in. There's a shot that goes off the traffic from Wyatt Carlson. Now a shot, and that hit the side of the net from a very sharp angle, and it's cleared back into the Hermantown zone deep. No icing with 47 seconds to go. It didn't go far enough as Esther Brooks rings the net. Long pass to center on the tape for Bloomdahl, but he fell. And Sarsland comes back with it for Benilde St. Margaret's. Pass to the left. Here's Marshall over the line. Marshall waiting. And now he sweeps the puck down low, and he put it past Sarsland. Comes behind the goal with 28 seconds to go, and the Hermantown Nets come off. We're going to get a face off, and it's going to be outside. Net coming off again here. Hermantown, at the very least, if they can't score here, they... They cannot concede a goal either because a three-goal lead in 17 minutes against a 
a traditionally defensively sound Vanille St. Margaret's team is going to be a very hard deficit to overcome here. Now, played rink wide past Max Plant off the wall. Here's Kohars and Kohansky going in and he lifts a backhander over the bar. Comes to the near side with 15 seconds to go in the period. Max Plant spinning and playing it to the wall. Stewart there and he turns it. Here comes Benilde back with 10 seconds to go in the period. They carry it over the line. A drop pass is poked away from McMorrow. And the puck now in front of the Red Knights bench as the second period will come to an end. And our score after two is Benilde four, Hermantown two. The shots do not tell the story here. Hermantown had 15 shots in the second period and one goal. And Benilde had six shots and two goals in the period. So the shots on goal are 27 to 13 after two. And uh, well, Hermantown's got a road to, to, to hoe here in the third period. They do, and we're gonna see how Pat Andrews responds to this, whether he mixes up the lines, mixes up the defensive pairings or some combination of the two. But they've, they've overcome leads like this before. It's no stranger to them, and they're gonna have to overcome another one here. All right, we'll take a break and come back with our third period after the flood, and you're watching the 2021 Champions Cup here on the Youth Hockey Hub. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Pizza, the ingredients for a great time.
Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time.
Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matzo Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Back in St. Louis Park at the Rec Center for the third period. It's Benilde St. Margaret leading Hermantown 4 to 2. Let's check out some other scores that we have. Moorhead defeats Andover handily 6 to 1 tonight at the Moorhead Sports Center. Gentry Academy, the Class A champions, moving up to Double A this year, defeat Denfeld 9 to 2 at the TCO in Vadness Heights. Matamidi over East Grand 5 0. And that's quite the rivalry there. Those teams have met four times at state. And the Zephyrs come up with a big win. They play Hill Murray next week at Aldrich. Should be a good game there. And Hibbing Chisholm over Rockridge, four to one. So the Blue Jackets pick up a victory. The, of course, the original home high school, Scott Perunovich, who's now a member of the St. Louis Blues. I really liked Rock Ridge as a uh, Section 7A sleeper, a Class A sleeper in general. You take those two historic hockey towns of Virginia and Eveleth Gilbert, three actually, you put them together, I thought they would be yielding better results, but still early. They still have time to figure out their identity as a team. They've got a great goalie in Ian Kangas, and we'll, uh, we'll see what they can put together for the rest of the year. You know, you talk about a team that figured it out at the end of last year. It was Hill Murray. That was the type of a team that just it started off, kind of find itself a little bit. And then when they figured it out, you know, that's the case. But you're right. You know, a school like Rockridge that's got, or a program like Rockridge, excuse me, that's got such great history, they'll figure it out. Absolutely. I think they will. I'm looking forward to that game. Uh, Hermantown travels up to Rockridge. I believe it is uh, February 12th. They get to go up to the new, uh, to the new facilities up there. Should be a good one. You know, the one place I always wanted to call a game and never made it was the FLO Hippodrome. Was one game that I always wanted to, one place I always wanted to see. And yeah, we got uh, to uh, we got to head up there for our season opener. Excuse me, it was our second game. We opened with Superior, and uh, it was quite quite the place. It's a it's a shame that's going to be sitting empty for the most part. Yeah, I know it's a grand old hockey building. As we're ready to go with the third period, Hermantown trailing four to two, and the puck is down. It's controlled by Ben Thompson and shot into the Hawks zone. Aaron Opsall plays it around the net, and the Hawks now trying to find a way out and it comes to center back deep into the zone and Sarsland will play it in the left corner around to the near side Max Plant will get there first now he centers it Zamplant scores and he just one time to right past him Zamplant from Max Plant and 22 seconds into the third period Hermantown is 
on the board. Plan from plan. How about that? They've been dreaming of that moment for their whole lives, and it finally comes true on December 3rd in St. In St. Louis Park. Plant goes five hole, gets the feed from Max behind the net, and 22 seconds into this, just what the doctor ordered, Hermantown right back in it. And Zam Plant showing, uh, showing some emotion, as you might expect, and now Max tries to break out from the faceoff, and it comes back deep into the zone. Gavin Reed plays around on the near side. See if they add a second assist on that goal. Looking nice here. And Kohansky is being given an assist as well as Benilde ices the puck. 16-17 left in the third. It's 4-3 for Benilde. Hermantown with 28 shots, Benilde with 13. And still one more to get for them as we get a face off to the right of Brennan Chapman. Came into this game, just trying to make something happen. Loose and now runs up the slot. And now a bump thrown there by Dallas View and a turnover. Carlson closes. He shoots. He scores! Wyatt Carlson picks the top corner. And Hermantown takes less than a minute to tie the game. My, oh, my. Wyatt Carlson. Just like that, and Hermantown's tied the game under a minute into the third period. Brendan Chapman. He's getting some water on the face. Hope to wake him up a little bit. Herman Towns offensive attack as Carlson will exchange fist bumps with Max Plant. They're going to get that first unit right out, back out here. Hope to build off of it. Wyatt Carlson's first goal at 59 seconds. So Herman Town takes less than a minute to erase a two-goal deficit here in the third. Dallas View gets the assist for the Hawks, and we are back on level terms at 4-4, which really, given the way Hermantown has played for the last period and a half, is, is quite fair as the puck comes into the center circle, and it's controlled now by Risto, who has a goal in this game, and his pocket is picked. Max Plant over the line. He tries to feed it through for Kohansky, and it comes to the near wall. Kohansky. Max Plant centers for Zam, and it's just too far for him, and it's picked up now by Norris through center, and he backhands it ahead into the Hermantown zone, and Benilde gets a change. 15.09 to go, and a long pass to center is turned back by Yakish, and loose at neutral ice. Max Plant chasing after it, and now a rink-wide pass is steered on into the Hermantown zone. It comes right on to the goaltender, Opsal, and now a centering pass. It's deflected behind the net as Guren crashed the net. Comes to the right side, and Yakish tries to feed it down. Loose along the wall, and it's now in the left corner. Peterson goes the short way up the boards, and it's picked off there by Yakish. He feeds the circle, and Benilde's starting to buzz a little bit here. Here's a shot, and a glove catch made by Opsal as a shot came through from Mason Stenger at the left point, and we're going to get a faceoff. I tell you what, after all that offense, the one breathing the biggest sigh of relief it's not Zam Plan, it's not Wyatt Carlson who gets that goal after the roughing penalty. It's not even Coach Patrick Andrews, it's Garen Upsall, who admittedly has not had his brightest game of the night, but he's right back in it and he has a chance to right his wrongs here. Now here's a shot and a save by Upsall and tight rebound comes up the slot and they come close, but no cigar. The Hawks break in three on three and a pass tries to come through to the right side, but it is now knocked out to center. Here's Marshall down the wing for Benildi. Comes in, threw it in front, it trickles to the right point. Thompson fires and he missed the net. The carom comes all the way back into the Benilde zone. And they're gonna have to chase it down. Ben Thompson will go all the way behind his own net. And with 14 minutes to play here in the third period, a 4-4 tie, Benilde will bank a puck to center ice. Controlled there by Hansen. He comes over the line, Hansen fires, missed wide to the far side. Long carom, Max Plant leaves a drop. And it's picked up by Thomas, who circles at the right point, tries to come to the slot and thread a pass through, stolen by Norris. And out to center, Janzig feeds it across and now back into the Benilde zone to the left. And it's banked off the wall to center and now to the near side, here comes Norris down the wing. Ben Norris watched there by Janzig, who took the puck off him, nice play. Comes to the near boards and the Hawks are able to clear it out to center. Here's Yakish and he is having trouble there as he's forechecked by Josh Kapanen who comes through and now here's a shot just missed by Dominic Thomas. Comes to the right point. He missed by less than a foot there to the far post. And now the 
Puck is stolen away, and here's Matthew Kapanen centering, and that's intercepted. And out to center it comes, and the Hawks play defense in the neutral zone, and Thomas leaves it over there for Olsen, who shoots it in to the Benilde zone. And Gavin Reed goes behind the goal. He's pursued hotly, comes out the right side, gives to Yakish, and he rink wides it into the zone, and that's high off the glass and behind it, and out of play. 12.51 left, shots 30-15, to 15, Hermantown on a 4-4 tie. Well, I tell you what, Jeff, I'm not sure if it's just the full crowd for the first time in about a year for Hermantown or, or just how good this game has been. But this is one of the best and purest high school hockey games I've seen in a long time. Two of the, st two of the state's best teams really duking it out here. It's been a good one. No two ways about that as it's played into the zone and Kohansky was after it in the near corner, lost out Max Plant in. He is dispossessed by Guerin. It goes behind the net and Sarsland controls. Banks it off the wall to the near side for Caleb Koski. And out to center, Max Plant picks it up to Zam in the center circle. Stick handles around Gaddy, and now takes a sharp angle shot, and that hit Thompson and goes to the corner. And Zam Plant after it again, tries to feed it back to the point, and it's played out to center, and a hand pass would have been called there, but it was touched by the Red Knights, and picked up now and played into the zone deep, and... Big hit there, no call. Yep, George Peterson taken in, and now it's behind the net, controlled by Koski. And he lost out. Hawks get a sharp angled shot and loose to the left circle, controlled there by Thompson and played out of play into the Benilde bench and will get a face off. 11.57 to go. We're getting another face off here to the left side of Chapman, who has been very, very solid tonight, better than the numbers indicate in my opinion. He's making every, every play that's been asked of him, but we're gonna see if they're gonna give Mason McElroy a chance to shine. He led YZ to a Bantam AA title last year. Now play in the vanilla zone. It goes behind the net. Bloomdahl after it, trying to center, and he lost possession. Now played to center McMorrow. Steps over the red line, now over the blue line. Plays it in deep, and it's going to go to the corner. Barker heads him off behind the net. Janzik feeds around on the far side, loose to the wall, and now they try to play it through the traffic on the short side to the Hawks. Nothing doing there. Now it trickles towards the circle on the right of the goal. Reed circles back. Now plays it down behind the net. Marshall chasing after it. Centering pass in the crease area. And Opsal gets a glove on it. Yeah. Eleven, what? Garen Upsall has had, he always been up and down all night, and that's been the case in some of, some of these big games. Dane Calloway is going to get the start uh, tomorrow morning. Coach Patrick Andrews has been very open this is going to be an open battle from the start. Upsall gets the start due to seniority tonight. But we're going to see how that's that's going to be an interesting storyline to follow as we uh, as we play on here. Interesting goaltending battle tomorrow. There's a clearing attempt that whistles over the boards and through the Hawks bench. I think they broke the world record for assistant coaches on the Hermantown bench here. Yeah, we'll see. I see uh, UMD former UMD player Chad Huddle. Looks like former Hermtown goalie Nate Buck and a couple of JV coaches along with a student manager and an injured player. A lot of bodies on that bench. Now the Hawks control from the faceoff. And they'll play it in. Huddle, of course, played at UMD. Back when I was doing play-by-play -play for the Bulldogs. Now loose in the center circle and now across the neutral ice. A sweep check by Max Plant. Puck comes back into the zone. And the Hawks play it off to the near boards. And at center, Zam Plant had his pass picked off by Risto. Over the line, he shoots, and that is blocked at the defense. Centering pass for Risto, he scores! And it's 5-4! And Benilde regains the lead on a goal by Michael Risto, his second of the game and third of the year. Risto burns Upsall on the one-timer. He got him glove side again. Risto with his second goal of the game. He's been very sharp here tonight. He's someone that Coach Ken Polly had a lot of faith going into this year. Said he looks for Michael to make his way into the top six forwards this year, and he's been he's been nothing short of stellar here tonight. Well, he has been really good, and uh, great deal of extra talent on display, great talent on display, I should say, for both of these teams. Armentown claws back two goals in the first minute of the third period, only to see Benilde regain the lead again. 10.37 left, it's 
And we got a dispute here on the bench. They're not, I believe it's over not letting the, uh, not letting the forward line change. And I think they are going to get the change off because they had the rotor line out there for the faceoff. Thomas is going to head off. We're going to have the Bloomdahl Carlson view line. Faceoff controlled by the Red Knights. They lead it 5 4. And here comes Stewart over the line, feeding the left. Now a pass to the near side. And McMorrow. Let's see uh, the assists on this goal for Risto. Norris and Thompson assisting, and that's the third helper for Thompson tonight. Now a centering pass and a shot. That doesn't get through. Comes to the right point, Yakish. Down to the circle, and the Knights play it across, and a shot. I don't know how that didn't go in. It's Drew Stewart with an open side, and he just missed. Comes to the left point to Sarsland, works to the high slot. Oh, steps around a man, takes a shot. That's a glove catch made by Opsall, and boy, they got some moves on that blue line, don't they? They do. I believe that first shot by Stewart might have got the stick knob of Upsall. Hockey truly a game of inches, and inches away from making this a 6-4 to four game, but as it stands, Benilde. Up by one with a face-off here in the Hawks' defensive zone. 9.53 to go. Shots are 30-19 to 19 for Hermantown. Now played up the right boards, and Rother can't get out. Loose to the boards and played down deep by Wallstrom for Benilde as their fourth line is on now. It's cleared around behind the net, and the Hawks will gain control. Pass up the near wing to Thomas. And at the red line, Thomas shoots it on in. Chapman sets it up behind the net, and now Stenger feeds it over to the left. And the Knights will play it back out to center. Picked up by Hansen. And Ty Hansen shoots it back in. It rings the boards, and Chapman can't cut it off. It comes to the near wall. Matthew Kapanen closing in, tries to sidestep the check of Stenger and lost the puck. Off to the left boards. Wallstrom plays it ahead to center. Play down with the glove. The Hawks clear the zone, and here's Hansen back over the line. He rings it around the boards to the far side, chasing it as Rother along the boards. Picked up by Matthew Kapanen, and then he lost it. Goes back behind the net, and Thompson will chase after it. Less than nine minutes to go now. That's and a bad here. change. And it's played into the Hermantown zone behind the net. After it there, Janzig, and he lost out. Comes to the near corner. Players from both teams crash into the wall. Janzig now comes in to help out, and it runs behind the net. And controlled there. Played to the right side, and here's Kohanski. He plays for Max Plant, who tips it into the zone and then chases after it. The five-foot, whatever you want to give him, the five-foot-seven. That looks about right. Max behind the net, centers it, and the Hawks play it up the slot. Here's a shot. They score! Janzig from the right point may have been tipped, but I don't think so. And we're tied at five with 8.24 to go. Janzig's played a great game in the defensive and neutral zones tonight. It's good to see him get rewarded on the offensive end. Great shot from the point. He just burns Chapman up top. And just like that, we are all tied again. I can't even count on two hands. I don't think how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Well, we have a 5-5 tie now, which is the... Important thing, but let's see. 1-0, Hermantown, 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, 4-2, Benilde, 4-4, 5-4, 5-5, 3. And now over the line, let's get the announcement of the Hawks' latest goal. Sam Plant picks up the assist. Here's Max Plant in tight, and a save made by Chapman. So Zam Plant with two goals and an assist tonight. And we're going to get a face-off in the Benilde zone with 8.05 to go on a 5-5 tie. This is a super hockey game. Absolutely. It looks like we're going to get Bloomdahl for the draw for Hermantown, and I believe that is Drew Stewart for Benilde. Play behind the goal, and Yakish comes up the far side for Benilde to center, pursued by View, comes over the line, tries to lay one through, and Marshall couldn't get to it. Now cleared around behind the net, and it's going to get into the netting and out of play. There's just some weird hops off these boards and off these dashers and off the seams here. We've seen it in both games. You know, there have been. I'm not sure what it is. They don't They don't necessarily have the toppers, the plastic toppers on top of the boards here. There have been quite a few quite a few weird bounces. We'll see if there's any puck luck here on this next goal. One of them wound up in Hill Murray's net in the first game as uh, puck came off a seam and came out in front where the goaltender was off trying to play a carom. I saw a game like a national semifinal decided by one of those hops when I was in college. 
Now he's a pass through the middle for Benilde, and Guerin comes over the line. Poke checked off his stick there by Esterbrooks, and it goes back behind the net. Now to the corner, Dallas View in control. And it's rink wide into the Benilde zone, 7.26 to go. And now played it, held in there by the Hawks. Bloomdahl on his backhand, tries to center. Goaltender hugs the right post, and Chapman makes the save. Comes to the near side, and now cleared rink wide, and here come the Red Knights to center. Wallstrom hits the Hermantown line. Poke checked off his stick by Barker. Nicely done. And now off to the far wall it goes. Play down with a glove, and then, boy, he hit the wall hard, didn't he? As Buck comes to the near side, and the Hawks gain control. Now cleared and tipped on into the zone by Carter Rother. Going back for it is Reed behind the net. He takes a hit from Josh Kapanen. And now a pass out to center is slowed up and played back in by Hanson. Under seven minutes to play. And around behind the net. Played out to center. And the Hawks lose possession in the center circle. Here's Norris. And he plays it on into the zone. Opsal sets it up behind the goal for Hanson. And now Ty Hansen plays up the far wing board. 6.28 to go on a pass up the near side. Hawks to center. And here is Barker shooting it in. It rings the boards, comes to the far side. Risto after it. He can't play it out. And now the Red Knights gain control and slow it up as Reed circles in his zone. And he's going to be forced back behind the net by Josh Kapanen. Near side. Yakish. Rink wide pass to center is going to go into a... Sea of white as the Hawks play it through the middle and over the line they come. And this is Peterson taking a shot. Stick save there. Goes back behind the net. Hawks get it. Look to center. And a block there by Yakish. Loose at the left edge. And they start buzzing again. A pass to the left point for Janzig as Zam Plant tried to get it to him. Now cleared around on the far boards to Marshall. And a pass to center is kicked ahead by McMorrow. And it's going to come all the way back for a faceoff. Joe Lewis Arena. 1986 national semifinal University of Minnesota against Michigan State John Blue was the goaltender for the Gophers went on to play for the Boston Bruins a fellow named Dave Arcopain scored a winning goal with less than a minute to go Paul Broughton who played for the Gophers at the time tried to ring the boards hit a seam it came out in front Blue was behind the net to cut it off and a national semifinal was decided and the next day in warm ups he spent the whole warm up trying to do it again and he never did. Play is loose at neutral and now out to center and played into the Hermantown zone. It might, I thought it went to the bench there, but evidently not. Hansen to Janzig, 5.15 to go. Over to the far side and Hansen plays it ahead and the Hawks at neutral. Here's a pass to the left and Bo Janzig will carry over the line. Janzig trying to undress the defenseman. He goes in and then it ran off his blade at the moment of truth and it's cleared all the way down the ice. And we're gonna get an icing call on Benil with 4.58 to play. With 4.58 remaining, you have to start wondering how many lines these coaches are going to roll. Eight forwards and maybe four or five D. We'll see how that looks here as we, uh, as we play on. Face-off win. Hanson shoots and a good save by Chapman through traffic. And we're going to get a face-off again on the Benilde zone. That burned four seconds. 33-19 the shots for Hermantown, but a 5-5 tie here. A very well-played game. Looks like we're going to get a late switch here. It's going to be the... Uh, the Kalpinen brothers with Dominic Thomas. So some line matching going on here from the point of view of the Hawks. Hanson controls, feeds it over to the right side from the faceoff. Here's a shot that is deflected. Esterbrooks took it, and it didn't get through. Now cleared past him. It comes all the way back into the Hermantown zone, and again, slowed up by a crack of the boards as Hanson plays it rink-wide all the way back into the Benilde zone, and Yakish goes behind the goal. 4.35 left. Yakish waiting. And now we'll start up as he's pursued behind the net by Thomas. Now a pass to center ice is relayed ahead by Geertsen. It's tipped, no icing. And back for it now is Esterbrooks. He rings the net. Feeds up the middle. And here comes Thomas down the right. Four against three over the line. Circling and a shot goes wide of the goal. Rebound up the slot and almost over skating it is Yakish. And now a pass to center ice. And it's controlled by Norris. Working there against Matt Kapanen, played into the Hermantown zone, right to the blue line. And finally out to center, and we get a whistle, turning it back in. We're going to get an offside as Risto played the puck in offside. Neither teams have had the chance to really establish themselves much in the opponent's offensive zone. It might, uh, might end up coming down to special teams here if we can get a late penalty. Boy, I, you know what? I would hate to see a game like this decided like that, but you may be right. I mean, it's... 
If it's a penalty, it's a penalty, but you'd just like to see it decided at even strength, I think, but maybe I'm just old school. At center, <laughs> Justin's nodding. Yeah. <laughs> Played into the Manilde zone with 3.40 to go, and a bump thrown there, and Bloomdahl lost it. Now it comes loose in the slot area, and, and a goaltender's lost his helmet as Dallas View came in front. And he, in the words of Slapshot, hit him right in his mind. And uh, we're going to get a face off in the Benilde zone. Yeah, View had a chance to maybe maybe tuck it in short side. Chapman loses the mask here, gets a stoppage. Pucks was still loose to the left side, and he's having a conversation here with one of our game officials. But with 3.33 remaining, we are still deadlocked. Zam Plant. Will face off against Stewart, and Plant wins this draw. Puck goes back behind the net into the corner, and it's picked up there by McMorrow. A pass into the Hermantown zone, and Hansen backing up, plays at the center. Now rink wide it back into the Hawks zone. Hansen along the wall, 3.15 to go, and he plays to center for Zam Plant, picked out of the air by Yakish. A nice play there. Yakish swings past Zam Plant. No, check that. That would be Kohansky. And now here come the Red Knights. That's Zam. And now it's played to the blue line. And loose to the wall. Hawks back. Zam Plant over the line. Guns a shot. And he put it over the top. Boy, he stepped into that, didn't he? And here comes Benil back. Marshall. He's over the line. He flips one high towards the net. And it goes to the near side corner. Going after it is Stewart. 2.44 left as the puck goes to Max Plant behind the goal. He lobs a pass ahead, played down to the glove by Thompson. Boy, what an acrobatic play that was as Thompson rink wides it back into the Hermantown zone. Janzig in the corner, plays it behind the net, and is controlled by Esterbrooks. And now a pass to center for Zam Plant. He falls. Max comes in to help, and now it's loose. It neutralized and played finally back into the Hawks zone. Hansen rink wides to Janzig to Zam Plant. And they break out two against two. A long shot, rink wide into the zone. He heads for the benches. They change with 2.10 to go. Pass up the near wall, and Norris watches that go past him, and it comes all the way back deep into the zone, and Barker is there to play it. Up the wall, here's Carlson circling with it. Takes it in front of his net with two minutes to go, and he pokes to the right side. Comes out to center, and it's picked off there by Mitchell Dockman, number 20. And over the line comes Benilde. Marshall lays it ahead. They all fall down in the Hermantown zone, and now it's loose along the wall. The nines come together, Bloomdahl and Marshall, and now it's played back into the Benilde zone. They had six skaters on the ice for a minute there. And they come out the right side, do the Knights. And a long pass to center. Over the line they come. With 90 seconds to play in the third period, it comes to the right boards in the Hermantown zone. Now controlled by Stewart. Looking for space, throws it across to the right side. It's picked up there by Thompson. Here's a shot deflected towards the net and steered wide on the rebound. And we get a whistle with 1.18 to go as the Hermantown net. Eight seconds in regulation to decide this. That might have been the best thing that could have happened there for Hermantown. Benilde had, I believe it was Stewart behind the net, and they were poised to establish themselves in the offensive zone. They had a couple forwards that were out there for far too long. Looks like we we're not going to... Potentially we will get a timeout as it looks like all skaters are going to head yep. to the bench here. Benilde is taking its timeout here with a minute 18 to go and a 5-5 tie and uh, just a tremendous high school hockey game here. The opening game for Hermantown, you would expect maybe a little bit of rust, but offensively it has not been apparent. Absolutely, and they've, they've had the chance to scrimmage some great some great teams two weekends worth. They, uh, I believe it was St. Louis Park, Matamidi, and then Benilde here as well as Eden Prairie four games against some really strong programs which have allowed them to get their legs under them a little bit. Now, Will, we should mention you'll be back tomorrow for Indeed. our game between Hermantown and Hill Murray. That and is correct. We should mention that uh, this young man is 17 years old and uh, you have got something ahead of you, my friend. I appreciate it's it. It's uh, going to be fun. This, is, this has been the experience of a lifetime. Really, really have enjoyed this game and it's, uh, it's going to be a treat to see how this one finishes. Well, we'll see how it starts off anyway as the face-off will come to the left of the Hermantown goal. Yeah, it's going to be the Stewart line out there. He's out there with uh, with Marshall and McMorrow. And for Hermantown, looks like it's going to be the Plants and Kohansky. So they're going back to their uh, to their initial first line and the role in the whole first unit with Janzig and Hansen as well. Shots in the third period are 7-6 for Hermantown. 34-19 for the game. 
And the puck dropped. Janzig goes behind the net, clears to the far side, and Kohansky banks it out to center. Hawks get it, pass to the left. Sam Plant has a half step on his backhand. He closes, he shoots, he scores! Sam Plant with a minute six to go! A hat trick for Sam Plant, and the Hawks lead it six to five. Take a bow, Sam Plant. Sign, sealed, delivered. I didn't think he could get it in from there. The short side backhand, he beats him blocker side. Welcome back to high school hockey, Sam Plant. He's getting hugs from his teammate at the Hermantown side of the rink. Absolutely electric. Benil's gonna be forced to go to the gonna be gonna be forced to go with an empty net here pretty quick. And the worst part of that is they used their timeout just now. And when you would want to set something up, they now no longer can. But Zam Plant's fourth point of the night. Three goals and an assist. And we get the announcement as we have one minute to play. Here comes the goaltender. Plant and Janzig as the puck comes all the way down the ice and are going to get a chance for Benil to set up here. They'll have an offensive zone faceoff with 48 seconds to play in the third period. Sam Plant's third goal. Max Plant and Bo Janzig getting assists. And the Hawks have scored four times in the third period and they lead it 6-5. Sam Plant on the face off. It comes to the high slot and out to center. And Benilde has to clear the zone. 40 seconds to play. Played into the Hermantown zone. And backing up. It's played out to neutral by Hanson and right back in deep. Six skaters for Benilde. 32 seconds to go. Play behind the Hermantown goal and a flip comes all the way back past Sarsland. And not far enough for icing with 20 seconds to play. In the third period, Tristan Sarsland over the line, cuts to the circle, tries to go in, down he goes, it's loose in front, a chance and a shot and a save by Opsal, comes up the slot, Yakish with 10 seconds to go, near circle looking for Marshall, and now Marshall gives it away, Risto fires, and it's loose to the circle with three seconds to go, and the Hawks are going to hang on and win. And Hermantown comes down to the Twin Cities and upends Benilde St. Margaret in a thriller. The final score, six to five, and I strongly suspect we will hear from Mr. Zam Plant in our post-game interview, a four-point game for Hermantown's junior star, and the Hawks rally. They score twice in the first minute of this period and get the winning goal with a minute six left. My, oh, my, that is about everything you could have hoped for in a high school hockey game. An absolute barn burner here in St. Louis Park. Two absolutely stellar hockey teams. And Hermantown continues their trek to the X and their trek for a fourth state championship with a 6-5 to five win over Mill St. Margaret's on a Friday night in St. Louis Park. 6-5, the final score. And Tony Scott heading down to ice level now. And we will await his arrival and presumably Zam Plants as well. Another thing I love about the uh, this high school hockey season, you know, last year, yeah, you go to the blue lines, you have the stick taps, but the proper handshake line, I, I think, think is something, hands now. Yes, they something we took for year. granted. All right, so the Hawks come from behind and they win at final shots are 35 to 19, so it's eight to six in the third period for the Hawks, and they will go into tomorrow's game against Hill Murray. Having won the first one, Zam Plant with three goals. He scored at 59 seconds into the game, and he scored with a minute six left. And in the meantime, he also scored to make it four to three at the 22 second mark of the third period. And Benil gets goals from Adam Marshall, two of them as a matter of fact. Drew Stewart scores for them. Risto scores two goals as well. And uh, just a thriller of a game tonight. And the Hermantown Hawks are winners by a score of six to five. And it's time now for the Tradition Company's Player of the game, Tony Scott is standing by at center ice with Zam Plant. Well, with Zam Plant, post game, Zam, congratulations on the big win. Hat trick, goal of the last minute. How's that feel? 
Oh, it was great. Um, boys stuck together and got it. What does Coach Andrew say to you guys after the you cough up a four to two lead going into the third period? What was the message in the locker room? Well, he we we. Pay attention to those and got her done. Came out quick. Exactly. Yeah, Max fed me with a sick pass right in front. First, first high school point, which is an absolute sick pass. That back, watch Grandpa coach in the yeah, program. He oh, he is. Oh, great. He brought all his old teaching buddies that are retired down here. So Grandpa's here. You know, Grandpa built the program. You know, back way back in the '90s. You've watched it as a kid. You know, a little bit of a stumble last year in the state tournament with, with the COVID stuff. Now it's your turn to kind of shine as a Hawk. How does it feel to kind of be in the spotlight center stage for Hawk? Oh, it's awesome. I've been dreaming to be a Hawk my whole, my whole my whole life, I guess. That's why I came back from playing in Chicago because there's nothing better than being a Hawk. Yeah. Well, nothing better than you, Zam. Three goals. You guys get your first. Jason's good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Zam, play. YHH, play of the game. All right, thanks very much. Thanks, I'm so trying to. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tony. It's a happy group of Hawks for sure as they come from behind. They score four goals in the third period on eight shots and win the game six to five. Will, what do you, what can you say that would uh, that would put a a cap on this one? I don't know what you can say. I don't know how you sum up 51 games, 51 minutes of an incredible high school hockey game in in just under a paragraph. Just just a great exhibition of speed and skill. Zam Plant, Max Plant, Risto for Benil, Drew Stewart, Adam Marshall. This game had everything you could have possibly wanted and more, except maybe in overtime. Well, <laughs> we <laughs> that would not have made our, 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 our technical wizard, Justin, very happy. So let's just say we'll just celebrate that, uh, that the game ended in regulation time. 106 to go. Zam Plant wins it for the Hermantown Hawks, 6 to 5, and they face Hill Murray tomorrow. And our broadcast schedule begins tomorrow at 12.30, and that will feature uh, Eden Prairie uh, taking on, uh, why can't I remember They would be this? taking on Benil. Thank you, yes, and <laughs> the home team. Thank you very kindly. You know, when you say, when you get old, the memory is the first thing that goes, and I forget the second. All right, so, yes, and then the second game, Hermantown and Hill Murray, that game is going to finish us off at 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. We hope you'll be here. We'll have both games for you here on the Youth Hockey Hub. Thank you, sir. I will see you Thank tomorrow. You. Thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. All right, we'll uh, bail out, and we'll see you tomorrow here from the St. Louis Park Rec Center, 6-5 Hawks. Jeff Papas for Will Peterson. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow here on the Youth Hockey Hub. Good night. Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotsa Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotsa Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time.